What's up everybody, how you doing? Today's random tip is concerning buttering and keeping the tr trick super clean. And to make those maneuvers where you really are effortless doing it and effortlessly riding away, it's all about carving in and out of it rather than skidding. So uh, there's certain edges that I always, always use that keeps it safe and clean. So for say a front side nose roll 180s, that's what we'll do, that and the and the switch version. It's heel side to heel side. It's that landing on the heel side is stops the rotation. And as long as your shoulders don't like over rotate, that will be a very nice clean landing. Or if you rotate over past 180, get on your toes, you're gonna skid out most of the time. It's not gonna be clean. It doesn't feel nearly as good. And, uh, but a baby step for being able to do this, you can literally just skid 180s or that maneuver of the 180 in between a heel side carve, switch heel side carve, heel side carve, switch heel side carve. Let's do some of that and yeah, that's a awesome baby step for it. But the actual carving part and switch heel side carve, that's the hard part of this getting recognized by skiers. Nice and clean edge work there. So here's what happens if I over rotate. You don't get that locked in landing of the correct edge and you just end up skidding. Hopefully that clip of over rotating it and landing that on my toes shows why it wouldn't be and doesn't end up being clean and it also creates a potential to catch an edge where if you don't over rotate it, you can really keep that heel side to heel side super clean and then uh, if you got that from, you know, if you got that super nice and clean, adding in a little butter isn't hard at all. You start with just a tiny little press on that downhill nose and then add in a little more and more until you got it right for you in that board. If I hop on a super flexi board, it's gonna take me a little while. I'll just gotta hold back and do it a lot slower. Uh, do it a lot slower and press a lot less. And if I get on an ultra stiff board, maybe I have to go a little faster and just lean into it a little more and get that n nose really dug into the ground. But uh, so here's how easy they can look once you got those nice edge work done. Up. Hopefully that gives you a concept of how I do them. Thank you all for watching. Happy shredding.